how to get more done. Why do you want to get more done? That's the first thing, right? Why do you want to get more done? What is the direction you're going towards, right? I keep hammering on that. Without direction, you won't get anywhere. I believe, you know, there's, there's never a destination, right? When we're setting down a goal, there's never, you know, we will never get there because when we get there, there's something new. But what you're going to be clear about, you're going to be clear if you're in the right vehicle, right? Are you in the right highway? Are you in the right car, right? Are you in the right position to go in that direction you wanna go? I'm not nearly anywhere where all the things I have dreams about in my life, but I know I, I built a vehicle right now that I'm sitting in right now, you know, I know the gear shift and everything. I know the direction I'm going in and that makes me so, so confident in um, just myself and, and, and what I wanna do in my life and, and with my dreams that I know that these things are gonna, you know, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen in the future because I'm in the right vehicle. And that thing there, you must, you must be clear and you must be, if you're not there right now, you must be, you know, you must shift that as quick as possible, right? Build your vehicle for what you wanna do, right? Super, super important. So first point today, you must commit. Commit, commit to get more done. Commit to get more done. What does that mean? It means that you're committed, right? You're doing the things. You're filling up your, your calendar. You are uh, aware of uh, distractions, right? You commit, you're like, okay, this is what I do. And that comes back to again, you being super, super clear about what is the direction you wanna go. You figure out where you're going and then you commit to it. That could be just a 30 day thing. It could be a 60 day thing. It could be a 10 year thing, right? You're like, this is my thing and I'm gonna go for it. Because without commitment, without commitment, you won't get there, right? You can have as many failures possible. You can have as many kicks in the face and in the teeth and, and, and letting yourself down over and over and over and over again. If you got commitment in place, if you got, okay, it doesn't matter how many times I fail, I will figure it out. I will work it out, right? When everybody else is talking about coronavirus right now, when anybody else is talking about there's a new recession coming and all that sort of stuff, when anybody else is telling about this is not a good country to be in, um, you know, uh, they're not letting us opening up businesses here in Melbourne and they're hard on us and all that sort of stuff, I just tune out. I don't even hear about anything. First of all, I don't watch the news, but I don't hear it. I don't pay attention to it because what? I am in my right vehicle. I know that I am on track to something. I know I'm, I am going in a direction and I don't let myself get affected by anything else that's happening out there. So if you're taking notes, shut the fuck up for the noise that's happening around you. Fuck the coronavirus. I know it's a horrible thing. I know you can get sick, but, but, but what makes the whole thing getting sick here, right? It's people, it's you, it's you buying into the news, it's you buying into everybody else, what everybody else is saying. I didn't, I didn't, because I'm not watching the news, I didn't basically know anything about the coronavirus before I heard it from someone, right? And I thought it was just a thing, you know, it's a virus and all that. And then when I got back again from the States, then I start hearing it from people, right? I could, I could see the panic in their face, you know, like, oh, this is happening over there. Now nah, we can't get toilet paper and we're only allowed to do this and all that sort of stuff. Fuck that. Make sure you're doing the thing you are supposed to do every single day, right? Because you're the one that keeping live in the whole thing. You're the one that keeping the finances going. You're the one that keep the shops going. If you go into panic like everybody else, it will be panic, right? Not because of the virus. The virus is a flu. The virus is something that's been around for so many times, like so many years. We have had so many different diseases and all that sort of stuff. And yes, it is a horrible thing, but you must commit to do your part of it. You must commit to not be afraid. You must commit to see yourself go in the direction you're supposed to go also before what's happening out there, right? So don't buy into what's happening around you. Be in your vehicle and then be confident in that no matter what happens around you, you're going in the right direction, right? You must do, very simple, commit to do the thing and then you're going to do it, right? So now you plan, right? You're planning things and you're like, yes, I want to go in that direction. Go for it, right? Do it. Right? If you're on whatever, social media or something, you're like, okay, I wanna build my brand up right now. Do it. Don't look at it, just post, do it. Uh, don't figure out what, what, what's the perfect workout routine for you to go to the gym, just go there. 
go there, right? Eat some healthy food, commit, commit to fill up the fridge with good nutritional food and then just eat it. Don't think about your cravings, don't think about what your head is saying, don't think about what, you know, your friends is inviting you out for dinner. Commit to the thing and then do it, stick to it, right? I might be a little bit there, I might be a little bit round up right now, but it's because it's so, so simple, right? And I'm so energized over how many people that fall into, you know, the whole thing of like buying into society and buying into what I feel in the moment and like I can't do it because I'm, I'm, I'm shy, I don't feel for it right now. I'm in exactly the same position as you. I feel all those things as well. I am uncomfortable, I am shy, I am insecure, I am all those things every day. I'm seeking for that every single day. If you saw my journal every single night, I ask myself, Simon, were you uncomfortable today? Right? Simon, were you uncomfortable today? I'm not running away for it. I finally, I finally figure out that, you know, okay, if I'm just leaning into the thing I'm uncomfortable about, if I'm just leaning into the insecurity, if I'm just leaning into those things, all the power goes away from it. If you take a week of just seeking things that you're uncomfortable about, right? You will feel like a new person. And, and, and I know you got it in you and you're stepping into it like I did, right? I stepped into it, I'm like, oh wow, yeah. But I now, now, now I feel uncomfortable. Just go again, right? Go again, burn marks on your knees, fucking bruises and scratches and go through the jungle. Just go for it, go for it, right? Simple, simple, simple. And that's what it's all about today. And that's what I am all about, by the way. It's gonna be simple, otherwise I don't understand it. I'm not the smartest guy or anything, not at all. But what I've developed, I've developed an attitude and I've developed an energy for everything is possible or anything is possible. Third thing, what we're gonna talk about is full calendar, right? Girls, you're already good at that one there. Full calendar, full calendar. I'm, I'm, I've never been good at a calendar. I never used a calendar before now, right? But again, I, I see myself as a fairly disciplined guy now and either, like even, I feel like I'm fairly motivated, I know what to do. If I don't put things into my calendar, I don't do it. I woke up when I said I wanna wake up and I'm working in boxes. I'm working in boxes, six to seven, this, seven to eight, this, 7.45 to that, boom, 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 all the way down. And it's almost like a game, right? It just pops up 15 minutes before, this is what you're gonna do next, Simon. And you might sit and think like, why would you, why would you work so structured? Like, I, I promise you when, when you, when you wrap your head around filling in your boxes, filling in your calendar with things just moving you in that direction. And that's all the way back again to you figuring out who are you, what's the vehicle you wanna drive in, and what are the direction you wanna go in, right? And then what are all the things I need to put into my road or whatever into machine, my machine in order to go in that direction? So, simple as. Map out, I've done it before the perfect week. Map out your week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then just map into boxes. When do you wake up? When do you have breakfast? When do you read? When do you work on yourself? When do you go to work? When do you have time for uh, reflecting? When do you have time for friends and social life? Just map it in. Number three, fill up your calendar. And then number four, reward. What are some small things you can reward yourself with daily? That will, that will reinforce that you're doing the right thing, you're committed to the right thing, you're doing it, you're doing the hard work, and then you, you, you keep filling up the calendar, you keep filling it up with good things. How can you reward yourself daily? Is it um, half an hour uh, where, you, where you don't do anything? Is it a power nap? Is it, um, for me, it's like reward for me tonight, it's just going to the gym. Like it's, 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 you know, it's, it's gonna be a long day today, for, but for me, just going over music again, listen to something, have an hour where I'm just training. Um, you know, my routines are my reward now because it's built upon things that makes me feel good. So it's as simple. But again, you know, I got weekends, you know, I got, you know, extra food, I had ice cream on the weekend, I catched up with friends, I had a, you know, a, a nice day Saturday with my friend Miranda where we were just driving around on push bikes around Melbourne, right? That was, that was just a, a, a nice and relaxed reward because it's been a long week. Um, so, so, so think, find small things, and, that, and that's again back to this thing here. Fill in your calendar with small holes. Is it 15 minutes in the middle of a day? Is it, you know, half an hour in the end of the day? What can you fill into your calendar, right? That gives you those sort of like, you know, reflection rewards of 
I am actually doing the right thing. Because when you link start when you start linking pleasure to the things up here. Okay, I, I was uncomfortable today. I connected with five new people today. I called on 20 people today. I um, shot three videos today. Whatever you're doing, right, that is uncomfortable, that's out of your comfort zone, that pushes you in the direction of your goal. How can you link pleasure to that thing there? You're like, okay, one, two, three, I did this, this, and this. Poof. I had on Thursday, I went to networking events. That's a new thing for me, going to events, going to events, going to events. And I was like, okay, boom, good week, and you stuck to your thing, dinner dinner tonight. Just relax, have a good dinner, that's your thing. So then you're stacking on and you're linking up the things you are um, uncomfortable with, the things that's challenging for you to do, you are linking a good thing to that thing there. Right? So fall in love, learn how to fall in love with doing the everyday thing, right? There's so many things I'm, I'm, I'm subconsciously saying no to because I know it's not going to lead me forward, it's going to bang me backwards. Things people will do fun things, you know, relaxing things, um, and, you know, all that sort of things, you know, that we normally are doing every single day, every single weekend, right? There's so many things I'm saying no to, to myself because I know it's not gonna move me in that direction, right? So learn how to fall in love with that process. Super, super simple. It's gonna be alone. It's gonna be, um, uh, you know, challenging at times, you know, you're gonna be sitting up late night sometimes, you know, but in the end, right, then you build a team, then you have good friends around, you get like-minded people, you start changing, you might move to a new area, like whatever, right? Then you get those, you know, small rewards, you know, and you're just stacking on, you're becoming a better person, you know, but boom, 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 you're going in the right direction. And that's what ultimates you are making you alive. That's what ultimately makes you feel fucking amazing. So Legend, thank you so much for checking in for this live. Stay tuned, Legend, super, super pumped, and I look forward to talk to you very, very soon. Smash it.